Kahala Yahawa, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak Kodash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kahala Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing this truth, and faithful sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rukak Kodash, Tarak Atham. To all you sincere listeners who may hear this. All right. This is the brother of Yatazakwa. All right. Uh, out of Conyers, Georgia. Okay. About 20 minutes outside of Atlanta. Um, I just wanted to uh, do a lesson. You know, while I'm walking, uh, a little walking talk. You know, I had some scriptures wrote down. I was going to uh, do it. You know, uh, do a little sit now, but uh, through the spirit, you know, I'm just gonna uh, hit these scriptures while I walk. So I wrote them down, you know, and I'm just gonna go into them. All right, about boasting for tomorrow and boasting for the things of this world when the things of this world is gonna come to a pass. Being uh, engulfed in boastings in this world and, and being proud to, to be American and, and so forth in this world when this world is gonna be destroyed, all right? This world, this world is gonna come to naught. This, uh, everything here that you can boast about, your family, your kids, your money, your house, your cars, okay, your, your uh, insurance, life insurance, your uh, savings, okay? All that's gonna come to naught, all right? So there's no reason to boast, all right? And, and don't think that it can't happen tomorrow because we don't know what day that Yahweh Shai is gonna make his return, his second coming. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here in Psalms, the 49th chapter. All right, this is Psalms, chapter 49, verse 6. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother. Yeah, and redeem means buy. Okay, so so with your uh, riches, okay, with with the multitude of wealth that you have accum accumulated, all right, in, in this world. Okay, you cannot uh, redeem your brother, all right? The mighty redeemer who has bought us with the price is Yahweh Shai, which first and foremost, he has bought us a lick, okay? So, so you want to be a part of that number. You want to be a part uh, 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 of, of, of the, uh, you, you want to be a part of the redemption of, of our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, those who is, who is come back to get who is bought with a price, okay? So, so with, with, uh, any of your riches and wealth that you have accumulated within this world, you cannot redeem yourself uh, from destruction, okay? You can't buy your way out of destruction, okay? You can't give a, a ransom to Yahweh to, to save you from destruction, okay? And, and you can't uh, save no one else with your wealth, with your wealth, your family or no one. All right, so, so what's the point of boasting about that, okay? Because cause Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah is finna sin, absolute destruction down here all right so so anything that you boast in within this world is 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 uh pretty much stupidity all right because this world and everything in it is gonna come to naught okay it says i'll start back from the top this psalm chapter 49 verse 6 they that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to Yahweh a ransom for him. All right, yeah. So you can't, you can't buy your way out of destruction, man. All right. If Yahweh by Shem uh has destruction coming, the only way, all right, to be a part uh, of the redemption, all right, to to uh, be bought by the mighty Redeemer, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel. Okay, you have to uh, come back to uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh All right, follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities. All right, and love not this world, okay? Like it says in uh, 1 John, the second chapter, all right? Because anyone who loves this world and the things of this world, okay, are, are uh, an enemy to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? So you have to give up the things of this world and, and, and serve the Lord, all right? It says, for the redemption of their soul is precious and it ceaseth forever that he should live forever and not see corruption. That's that's the part of our redemption right there. 
okay? Because this world is corrupted, all right? All these, uh, all the wealth and the riches that you can accumulate in this world is corruption, okay? But through the spirit and power of you, how about see me outside, being a part of his uh, redemption, okay? Being brought back out of this world, okay? And from the things of this world, okay? There's no corruption within the world of Yahweh by Shimei Osha, which the world of Yahweh by Shimei Osha begins with his elect. We are the world, okay? Because we are the light of the world, all right? And, and, and the kingdom of heaven dwells within us, all right? So so being a part uh, uh, of, of Yahweh by Shimei Osha's election, okay, is the greatest riches and the wealth you can have. And that's what you're going to boast in because there's no corruption in there. You can't corrupt the riches that Yahweh by Shimei Oshan has for us, the treasure that he has for us, all right? This world right here is, 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 can easily be tainted and corrupted. It, it is polluted. This whole world is corrupted and polluted and tainted, okay? It says, verse 10, For he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool and the brutish person perish <laughs> and leave their wealth to others, okay? So that's that's all the corruption of this world right here, man. Okay, it says that uh, the wise man died, and like uh, likewise the fool. All right, and, and the brutish man, which means to uh, pretty much be a, uh, a a brute beast towards uh, the knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You have by Shimei Alshad to completely be ignorant towards the knowledge of uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You have by Shimei Alshad. Okay, they all perish. Okay. So anything that you could boast about and uh, you could boast about your wisdom, your riches, or, or, or so forth in this world, okay, all that can be uh, taken away, all right? And you're just going to die and leave it to someone else. And no telling what they're going to do with your riches like King Solomon spoke of in Ecclesiasticus, okay? It says, verse 11, their inward thought is, that their houses shall continue forever. And yeah, that's that's the uh, problem. That's why people boast within the things that they have within this world, man. All right? Because the, the inward thought in their mind is that their houses is gonna last forever, which which is uh, very untrue, okay? This this uh, place is not finna go on, man. All right, this this place is, uh, this, this place is not finna uh, continue to uh, go forward and, uh, you, you continue to uh, glamorize yourself in the multitude of riches and, and trust in your wealth and, 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 and boast in uh, what you have accumulated in this world, okay? Because your Habashim Shimei Al Shah is going to destroy this place any day now, okay? So, so the, the inward thought in your mind thinking that this, is, uh, this place is going to last forever, okay? It's, it's, it's the brute beast nature inside of you, okay? And that's what happens when you trust inside, uh, trust, trust in riches, okay? It says, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor, abide of not. He is like the beast that, per that perish. Yeah, nevertheless, man being in honor, abide of not, okay? So, so if you honored in this world, you don't abide within the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, you abide within the law, statutes, and commandments of Esau, all right, the wicked, okay? Because you are the wicked. You trust in riches, and the riches of this world are tainted, okay? Because who, who provides you the riches within this world? Esau has set up these riches, all right, with his fiat paper system, okay? His uh, his uh, stock system, all right, his, 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 uh, his, uh, his economic system, Salaki, his, his Wall Street, all right, and his, his, inv his investments and so forth, okay? All these things were set up by Esau, all right, to keep you corrupted in the box, all right, and, and, and keep you to uh, focus on the things of this world, okay? When the things of this world is going to come tonight, okay? And those are not true wishes, riches, and you're going to perish just like uh, those things going to perish. All right, so you, you, you're no different than an animal, man. No different than a beast that dwells in the earth. You know, a beast just dies and goes back to the earth. All right, he don't have to go receive judgment, okay? So, so your life was pretty much in vain, all right? It says, nevertheless, man being in honor about of not, he is like the beast that perished. This, their way, 
is their folly, yet their prosperity, posterity, Salakia, above their stings. Like sheep, they lay, they are laid in the grave. <laughs> Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. Yeah, because it's gonna be a new uh a, a, a new uh a transfer a, a, a transfer of power, man, a transition of power, which is uh the nation of Israel being their rulership, okay? And and, and the so-called white man, Esau Edom, okay, his rulership is 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 gonna be uh done 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 away with, man. Alright, so so if you're uh engulfing yourself in the ways of, of Esau Edom, okay. Which is his, uh, which is the system of the peace, all right? This money, and, and, and so forth and so on, okay. And you're boasting in that, okay, as as your security, okay. You you're gonna be uh caught, you're gonna be caught off with that, man, all right. And, and uh, although the whole nation of Israel will gain uh, redemption, okay, in the kingdom, okay, you you're not gonna uh receive that honor immediately, man, all right. You're gonna have to be a part of the uh first the first resurrection, all right? And you're gonna have to experience the second death, all right? There'll be men who 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 are not gonna taste of death. And those men are those who uh turn away from the system of the beast, all right, and the bad and the system that you have by Shimi Al Shai has uh set up for us to live by, all right. It says Like sheep are laid in the grave, death shall feed on them. And the upright shall have dominion over the morning, and their beauty shall consume them in the grave of their dwelling. But Yahweh will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. Yeah, Yahweh is going to redeem our soul from the power of the grave. All right, because when you go into that word grave, it's pretty much hell, and we're in hell, man. All right, and the ways of this world are hell. They, they are as death, okay? So if you you can find in the ways of this world and in, 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 in this hell, okay, you're gonna uh you're gonna end up in the grave, man. You are already in the grave, all right. Unless you come out of the ways of this world, man, and come into the ways of Yahweh by Shimi all right. So only the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimi can save you from this hell, all right. That sa save you from 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 the grave, okay. Save you from death, all right. Because the words and, and doctrine. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Shimei Shah that leads to uh, eternal life, man. That that is life. Okay. It says, "But Yahweh will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for He shall receive me." Salah. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Yeah, so it, it, you, you don't supposed to be studying about uh, this nigga right here got uh, a, a Benz. He, he just bought a new uh, Camaro, okay? He just ran some bands up. He just hit a lick, okay? He just got a brick house, all right? He, he doing good, man, all right? Because it says uh, in uh, 2nd Ezra, the uh, 5th, Ninth chapter, I believe, or if, if I'm not mistaken, okay, it pretty much says, uh, inquire not on uh, how to if the sinner is gonna receive judgment, but if uh, uh, but but uh, instead, how the righteous can be saved, just just roughly paraphrasing it, all right. So, you don't supposed to be concerned with, with these wicked ass niggas and what they doing, man, all right, because it all, all the riches that they have accumulated in wickedness. Okay, that's, that's, that's gonna fade as a flower, man. All right? It says, Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory, Salakia, when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he die, if he shall carry nothing away, his glory shall not descend after him. Yeah, your glory not gonna be taken with you, man. All right? The, the only way, you you can uh, be glorified as if, if you how about Shimi Shah glorifies you, man. All right, and the only way you, he's gonna glorify you is through, through you glorifying him. Your your glorification comes through the glorification of you how about Shimi Shah. All right, we're we're just mortal flesh, man. All right, and, and, and the ways of sin of death, death, and we're all sinners. Okay, so it's none none of us 
are, are really worthy of uh of glory man all right but uh being being redeemed okay being being bought okay is how you're uh, brought back into redemption okay that's that's how you're going to receive your glory and how you uh be redeemed okay it's by glorifying you how about see me outside all right so he buys you all right he buys you out man he buys you out of uh, the grave okay it says though while he lived he blessed his soul and man will praise thee when thou does does as well to thyself he shall go to the generation of the fathers they shall never see light man that is in honor and understand of not is like the beast that perish all right and that's pretty much the point right there man all right that's why i wanted to just go into uh this whole chapter because this whole chapter had a, a, a thorough breakdown on it man all right he that is uh he that is in honor is in in this world is like the beast that perish man all right you just you you just uh, uh your your life is vanity man all right it's, it's, it's purposeless, man. All right, because you honoring the things in this world when these things in these worlds gonna come tonight. All right. So let me jump here. Okay. This is Proverbs chapter 27, verse one. Oh shit. So like, it's Proverbs chapter 27, verse one. It says, boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. All right, so so don't boast yourself in tomorrow like you know what's going, what, what what's, what's going, what, what tomorrow going to bring. Like you know you're just going to be able to enjoy your riches. You're going to be able to live how you want to do, do what the hell you want to do, man. All right, because you don't know what's going to come tomorrow, man. All right, so 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 don't boast for tomorrow, man. Don't boast in the, in the things you got uh, right now, man. Uh, like you're just going to continue in, in, in riches and honor forever, man. All right, because the honor of this world and the riches of this world is, is, is momentary, man. All right, and to be con constantly minded is death. All right. So let me jump here. All right, this is James chapter 4, verse 13. All right, this is James chapter 4, verse 13. Go to now, yea, that say today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain whereas ye know not what sh shall be tomorrow <laughs> be on the morrow for what is your life it is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanish away so our life is just like a vapor man all right like you might light a stick up or incense man all right you you might uh you know, uh, like some sage or some uh, frankincense and myrrh, man. All right, and, and, and the vapors come up out of it. All right, the smoke come, uh, ascends up out of it, man. It, it just vanishes away, man. All right, and that's what your life is like, man. All right, so yeah, how about shooting me out with shot? All right, so while you boasting in, in, in this uh, world right here and the honor of this world and the riches of this world, okay, that's that's nothing, man. All right, and that's gonna this is gonna fade away. All right, it says. For that, yea, ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Yeah. But now, yea, rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Yeah. So all such rejoicing is evil, man. All right. Rejoicing the things in this world is evil, man. You how about see me out shot not with this world, man? All right. And, and, and first and foremost, he's finna come destroy this place, man. All right. So what the hell are you boasting about, man? All right. Like you done did something, man. All right. This uh 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah, so we we know perfectly, man. Alright. <laughs> that, that the day of the Lord uh come cometh as a thief in the night. And that's the man of the Lord who know perfectly, man. Alright. We we know perfectly uh how y'all by Shimao shot uh works, man. Alright, we know that uh one day is a thousand years to you how about Shimao shot, man. Alright. So so we're not even on the same uh clock as, as you how about Shimao shot, man. Alright. 
So so why why the hell would we uh get comfortable in this world and boast in this world when we don't know uh when when you how about Shimia Shah is gonna destroy this place, man? Alright? You know what I'm saying? We know that Yahweh by Shimia is going to destroy this place at any moment, better yet. All right? Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, yeah, when you shall say peace and safety and secure, and sec, being secure in, 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 in the boastings of this world, okay, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. It's so like your brothers. Give me a uh, second. Yes, yeah, luck, you brothers. Uh, I think I left off at uh, First Thessalonians uh, five and three. Okay, so uh, I, I think I read it, but I'm just gonna read it one more time. So luck, you brothers. Okay, this is uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, shall sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, they shall not escape, man. All right. So right now you feel like you're escaping through your riches and, and, and your wealth and the things of this world, okay? Through your wickedness, okay? You're not gonna escape when you how about Shimei Al Shai spent sending sudden destruction upon you, man. All right. So so why so why boast when when uh you you don't know what can happen tomorrow like we read in uh, Proverbs uh the 27th chapter, man. All right. You you don't know what's going what's gonna happen tomorrow. So what the hell you boasting about, man? All right. So, so it, 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 it's uh, it's, it's it's nothing to be boastful about, nothing to be uh, happy about, because all this all this fades away, man. All right, and you how about Shimei Shah is gonna destroy this whole place at any given moment? Okay, so I'm gonna get this right here through the spirit. Okay, because right now we're we're in the last times. Okay, and you how about Shimei Shah, Salakia. We're in the last times right now. And uh yeah, how about Shimia Shah has uh destruction purpose for, for these times that we're coming up in, man. All right, and, and right now we living in a time where uh people are boastful, proud, you know, into all type of uh wickedness, man. All right, and, and, and boasting within their wickedness, man. All right. So this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days. Perilous times shall come. Yeah, we're in the last days right now. And, and what are perilous times? Well, let's go into this word perilous. Okay. Let's go into this word perilous. All right. Perilous. That means harsh, fierce, savage. <laughs> yeah, we're coming into fierce, savage, harsh times, man. All right. Hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, man. All right, hard to bear, man. You're not going to be able to bear the sudden destruction that Yahweh by Shimei is going to gonna send on you, man. All right? You can't pay your way out of destruction, man. All right? You you can't buy enough uh, canned foods for, for Yahweh by Shimei uh not not to uh, send a famine on your ass, man. All right? You you can't you you, you can't uh, send you, you can't make an underground bunker with a shelter you're going to hide at, man. All right? Because Yahweh by Shimei Shah uh, speak about that in Amos the ninth chapter, man. All right, so so you can you can do whatever the hell you want to do, but you're not gonna escape the destruction of your by I was shot. Okay, so why boast in the things you got? Cause none of those things can save you nor redeem your family. Okay, it's a hard to do to take to approach. Yeah, so it's hard to 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 take this, man. It's hard to take the destruction. It's it's impossible, man. Fuck hard, man. All right, and, and, that's, and that's the perilous times that we are coming into because we're in the last days now, man. All right, and they speak about that in Matthew the 24th chapter. All right, when, 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 when famine and pestilence and rumors of wars and wars uh, come, come, come about, okay, then, then you should know that you're in the, in the last days. These are the beginning of sorrows. All right, so we're in the stage uh, of the beginning of sorrow right now. All right, we're, we're in the stage uh, of the beginning of perilous times, okay? So let's go back. Spirit. Okay, this is uh 2 Timothy chapter 3, and I'll just start back from the top. Verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lover of the lovers of their own selves. And that's what these niggas is, man. Alright? Lovers of their own self, man. Vain, vain is all here, man. Alright, that's why you got niggas on Instagram stunting with, with, with guns. 
okay, uh, jewelry, uh, cash, and, and, and bitches, man. All right, because they lovers of their own selves. Niggas on Instagram, okay, uh, all in the mirror, man. All right, with their shirt off and, 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 and flexing their muscles and their tattoos and shit, man. All right, because men have become lovers of their own selves, okay. Covetingness, yeah, you got niggas out here who covet the things that other niggas boast about, man. All right, like like about uh, how they look or, you know, uh, their attributes, you know, uh, their, their riches and their wealth, man. All right. So you got niggas who covet that, man. All right, here we go right here. Boasters. Yeah, boasters, man. All right, niggas who boast in the things that they have, man. All right. And let's go into this word boaster. What's a, what's a boaster, man? All right. Through the spirit, like I said, I was walking, doing a little walking talk lesson, a walking, walking lesson, you know, so I ain't really go uh, into these words uh, from, at, at the beginning of this video, but, you know, uh, through the spirit of power, y'all about to see me uh, the, the spirit, y'all about to see me out shot by Shimu All right. He's leading me to go into some of these words. And it says, an empty pretender. Yeah, an empty pretender, man. All right. Pretending like these things, a, a, a braggart, yeah, bragging, all right, an empty pretender, man, all right, because you pretending like the things of this world are are uh, true blessings, man, all right, like the things of this world are, are, are riches, man, all right, these things are no blessings, these things not no riches, man, all right, the, to, to uh, in, inherit eternal life, okay, so lucky, to, to depart from evil, Okay, to do the things necessary to obtain salvation. Okay, these things are 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 are, are, uh, are riches. Okay, and even with with you doing those things, you ain't supposed to boast in that. All right, because that's 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 a prideful nature. Okay, and, and we know about how in uh, Sirach, the tenth chapter, it says uh, pride is is the beginning of one. When one departed from his maker, just roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, and it says also Yahweh by Shem Yahusha resisted the proud, man. All right, so let's go back. Okay, it says proud. Yeah, there we go. That word proud, man. All right, because uh, boasting, man, that leads to pride pretty much, man. All right, boasting in anything leads to pride, man. And, 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 and you how about Shim Yao Shah not dealing with no proud ass niggas in no form, man. And that's all you got around here, man. Nothing but proud ass niggas, man. All right, Pr proud to have money, man. Proud to have bitches, man. All right, proud to be able to uh, be wicked, man. All right, proud to do whatever the hell you want to do, man. All right, and, and that's what we got. That's, that's everybody, all these niggas, man. All right, so that's how the, the, these are clues to let you know that we in the last times. So why in the hell would you be boasting if you know that we in the last times? Okay? Blasphemers, yeah, and these niggas are blasphemers, man. Like I was listening to this song by the nigga Tupac, man. This wicked ass nigga, man. Alright? This nigga got a song called Blasphemy, man. Alright? This nigga pretty much in the song is, is saying that this is the new word, man. Alright, what this nigga said, he's saying that what his word is the word, man. Alright? That's all out blasphemy, man. That's why you have about Shimel Shah put that nigga to death, man. All right? And, and if the nigga alive, like some of you stupid niggas say, all right, he gonna get put to death in nuclear fire, man. All right, for that type of blasphemy, man. Because all matters of sin could be forgiven except for blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, man. All right? And that's what you got niggas, niggas out here who will blaspheme the, the Heavenly Father, man. All right? But still be proud, man. All right? Boasting in what they got and, and then uh, blaspheming the Heavenly Father because he didn't give them uh, what they got. They feel like they got it on their own, man. That's these niggas out here, man. All right. Disobedient to parents. Yeah, and these niggas, not only was these little reprobate ass niggas in, in uh, 18, 19, 20, uh, uh, young 20 uh, as niggas obedient to their, their actual, disobedient to their actual blood parents. Okay, but these these niggas out here are, are, are disobedient to their spiritual parents, man. All right, which are the apostles and elders and, and, and the prophets, the, the true prophets and teachers, 
and ministers of Yahweh by Shem man. All right, they disobedient to them, man, because they continue to do what the hell they want to do. All right. It says, unthankful, and all these niggas are unthankful, man. All right. These niggas do not uh think the fact, uh, they're not thankful of the fact that Yahweh by Shem uh put, made them part of the chosen seed, man. All right. These niggas don't give a fuck, man. All right, they 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 feel like they the chosen one because uh they they can uh do what they want to do in wickedness, man. All right, that's what they thankful for. They they thank God that, that they can have uh fiat paper, man, and, and jewelry and so forth and so on, man. All right, it says unholy, and these niggas are unholy, man. All right, they're not uh separate, man. They're not separate, man. Cause these niggas don't even acknowledge their heritage, man. These niggas don't care uh, about being the uh, chosen seed, that uh, that honorable vine of the Most High, man. All right, that's how they become of that strange vine, that dishonorable vine that it speaks of. Uh, I mean, that that this noble vine, all right, that strange vine that it speaks of in Jeremiah the six, second chapter. And let me just get it through the Spirit, man. Yeah, because you niggas have uh, you're not uh. You're not holy. Are right? you not separate, man? You're not of that uh you're not of that uh that that noble vine, man. Are right? you become a strange vine unto y'all by seeing me I was shot. Let me see if I can pull it. Through the spirit, bear with me, brothers. Yeah, here we go right here. Okay. This is uh Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 21. Yet I planted thee a noble vine. Holy a right seed. Yeah, so that means that we was planted to be a separate seed from all the others, man. All right, we were supposed to uh, be growed up through the spirit and power as, as a holy seed. Uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua as a holy seed unto him, man. All right, a, a special plant, man. All right, it says, how then are thou turned into a degenerate plant? And let's go into this word degenerate, man. All right, let's go into this word degenerate because I know what it means, but it's just it's slipping my mind right now. All right. It's like it, Lord willing to pull up. Now this shit want to act up, man. This uh, the spiritual demon Satan, man. OK. Yeah, this is just just the spiritual de de demon Satan. All right. Yeah, because it wasn't doing this the whole time. OK, let's see if it's going to go into it. Yeah, through the spirit. Okay, I can't pull it right now, so we just gonna see if you how. Okay, call all you how about Shimi Al Shahi uh, allowed me to go back. Okay, but yeah, uh, degenerate, degenerate, pretty much. I think through the spirit, it just means to uh, be brought from your uh, ancestral, your ancestral beginnings. Just roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, pretty much, you you're not brought up, you're not doing what you was brought up to be do to do. And they speak about in uh, De Deuteronomy the seventh chapter how Yahweh has made us a, a, a separate, a, a, a separate nation, man, which is holy, cause holy means separate. Okay, so it says, "Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Yeah, because you niggas boast in wickedness, man. All right." Because you niggas have become proud and wickedness, man. All right. And that's how you know that we in the last times, man. All right. That's how you know that uh, boasting is, is going to lead to, to your, your, your destruction, man. All right. It says, verse 3, without natural affection. Yeah, Matthew uh, 24th chapter uh, also detailed that, man. Matthew 24 and 12. Because uh, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. All right? And, and the love of many has waxed cold out here, man. Don't nobody give a damn, man. All right? You, you can be getting stumped out in the street, man. Nigga, a, a videotape this shit for he call uh, 911 on you, man. 911 for, to help you, man. All right? You, you could be out, about to die out here, man. All right, nigga, nigga, keep riding on your ass, man. All right? Man, yo, yo, you some somebody got to get to work, man. They'll run your ass over trying to get to work, man. All right, why? Because 
uh, people are without natural affection, man. It's a lucky, brother. Okay? It says, without natural affection, truce breakers, and these niggas have broken the ultimate truce, man. All right, going back to the truce that uh, we have made when, uh, when, when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh when he led us out of the land of Egypt, man. All right? That's, that's the ultimate truth that you have broken with your how about she me outside, man. All right, to, to continue to be that holy uh, separate nation that he set up, man. All right, that noble vine. All right. False accusers. Yeah, you niggas uh, are false accusers, man. All right. You 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 accuse uh, your how about she me outside, man. All right, just like uh, you accuse your how our Lord uh, back in past times, okay, to, to deliver him up. Uh, to to uh, be crucified, man. All right. So you niggas coming back in your life doing the same thing, man. Being false accusers, man. All right. Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those who are good, and that's what you niggas do, man. All right. Y'all talk shit about the man of the Lord. All right. Y'all refuse to hear the words of the Lord, man. All right. Man, I'm on I'm on Instagram, man. I'm, I'm dropping the truth on Instagram, which you know. Through the spirit, man, I don't even be on there doing that shit like that because ain't nothing but reprobates on Instagram, man. All right? But just to give an example, I'm on Instagram dropping the truth, giving them knowledge, you know, giving them news. I see I lose like 1,000, 2,000 followers, man. All right? Why? Because they despise those who do good, man. They don't want to hear no scriptures, man. They don't want to hear, uh, they don't, they don't want to see what's going on in the world, man. They want to continue to go on in wickedness, man. See you to be covered on and covered in gross darkness, okay? So, so these people, uh, they they despise those who are good. Why? Because they 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 love boasting and, and living in wickedness, man. All right, they love boasting in, in, in this current world, man. All right, it says traitors. <laughs> yeah, these niggas have traded on on on, on law, statutes, and commandments. You how about Shimei was shy? All right. They 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 they've traded uh their heritage out. They they sold they uh their 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 heritage, their bloodline out, okay, to follow after the customs of the wicked, man. Alright, to go in the way of the heathen, man. Alright. Heady, high-minded. Yeah, now these niggas high-minded, man. They swear they know some shit, man. Alright. These niggas too smart for their own good, man. Alright. Why is the why is the do evil, man? I like to speak about in Jeremiah the uh the fourth chapter, man. All right, these niggas uh wise to do evil but to do uh good they have no knowledge, man. All right, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh, and that and that's and that's the key point right there, man. All right, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh by Shimei man. All right, these niggas love to smoke weed more than they love to serve Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh. They love to eat strip and crab legs and pork more than they love to serve you. How about Shimei Yahusha? They gotta keep a shape up and, and, and a shaved beard more than they wanna serve you. How about Shimei Yahusha, man? All right. They gotta uh, they gotta pop the bitch they wanna pop, you know, more than more than they uh, wanna serve you. How about Shimei Yahusha, man? All right. They gotta uh, continue to live in wickedness more than the, the, uh, to depart from evil, man. All right. So, so they love uh, the lust of the eyes and, and, and the pride of life more than they love you. How about Shimei All right. So I'm going to end this on here. Okay. I'm going to end right here. Second Peter. Chapter 3. Salakia. Okay. This is Salakia. Okay. This is Second Peter. Chapter uh, 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushua, will come as a thief in the night. Yeah, and the day of the Lord going to come like a thief in the night, man. All right, that's easy to see. All right. You, 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 don't, have to, uh, you don't have to have a microscope to know that, man. All right. The day of the Lord going to come like a thief in the night, man. We read that as, uh, in, in, in 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, man. All right. How uh we we those who who are uh serving the Lord, all right, we're not in darkness to uh for that day to overtake us as a thief. All right, so we know that the day of the Lord gonna come as a thief in the night. All right, 
in the which the heavens shall pass away in your heavens, man. All right, the rulership, the current rulership, the current state of the world, man. All right, the rulership of, of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right, and all those who 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 follow behind uh, his his rulership, which is his heaven, okay, which is which is nothing but wickedness. All right, it says, Salaki, Salaki, brothers, just Satan, man. All right, but it says. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Yeah, the earth also, and the works that there are in, that are therein, shall be burnt up. All right. So, so this place is gonna be uh, burnt up, including everything that's in it, man. All right. It says, verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in? All holy conversations and godliness. Yeah, so uh, seeing then that all these things are be burnt up and dissolved, what type of manner of person are you to be, man? All right, all, all holy conversation, man. All right. And that goes back to being that noble vine, man. All right. Doing what the Lord has commanded us to do, man. All right. And godliness, man. Okay. And, and when you go into this word holy uh conversation, okay, it means lifestyle, man. All right, not not just in uh speech, but also in, in how you're living, man. All right. It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be uh shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt melt. With fervent heat. Yeah, so this this place is going to melt with fervent heat, man. Every you, your money, your car, your house, everything that you want to boast, that, that you can boast in and be proud about within this world, is going to burn up with fervent heat, man. All right? Which, which, which uh, to be exact, is uh, 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles, man. All right? And also, uh, the chariots of, uh, of Israel, all right, the chariots of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot coming down here and with, with, uh, with, with concentrated fire, zapping people to death, man. All right, turning them to powder, man. All right. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh by Shem was shot by Shem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the late man pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom to the elect.